Hello there and welcome to my chaos. So today we are going to be doing quests with Pumbaa. So let's go ahead and get into it. Also, the first part of the lore video went up today and it was spectacular to see what you guys were thinking about it. This place sure is busy. When does everybody take a break? Literally never, Pumbaa. <laughs> I would love to take a break, but that doesn't exist in 2024 for anybody. What is happening? What's date? What's going on with Daisy and Moana, not Moana, Mulan over there? Oh no, they're just having a little bestie moment. Okay, good, good. I did see Kristoff. Oh, there's our ex-husband. Okay, okay. Oh, look, it's it's Mike. Okay, we got, we got a lot going on in the plaza right now. Look at his little face. Oh my God, he's so cute. Pumba is my baby. Pumba is my son. Hey, um, Jamie, do you have some time? I need to ask you something. And it's a little embarrassing. Uh-oh, what's wrong, Pumba? Is everything okay? Kinda? See, Timon and I went to Remy's restaurant today for our favorite meal. I can see where everything went wrong. Th that's a double whammy right there. You got Timon in Remy's restaurant. Double eye Illuminati madness. Restaurants are neat. Have you tried Tiana's? Have you tried Tiana's place? You might like hers better. It might be less of a nightmare if you try Tiana's, which I still need to finish her quest. <laughs> um, I actually like cooking for myself because I know what's in it. You do? I think eating would be tough if I had to do more than find some bugs or visit Shea Remy every day. It is, it is very taxing, yeah. So what's the problem, Pumba? You said it was sort of embarrassing. Well, the moment we walked into Remy's, everyone else left. It just felt like the old days by the watering hole. Mm. So, I love you. You are my baby, you are my son, you are my child. And because I love you so much, I think it's important that I tell you that maybe the butter in Remy's restaurant is getting to your tummy a little bit and it's making you a little stinky. It's okay, it's okay. No judgment, no judgment. But maybe we should lay off restaurants that have a lot of butter and just go to Tiana's place because she's so good at cooking, she doesn't rely on that much butter. I thought me and Timon had figured out how to make me smell not so bad, but uh, we think something's different now. Yeah, it's the butter, okay. I'm telling you, Pumbaa. Or everybody's mad at me. <gasps> Poopa, no! No, sweetie. So many here. Um, I'm sure there's an explanation. If there is, I sure could use some help figuring it out. Baby! <gasps> I don't want, I don't want to see Poopa cry. Poopa, okay. honey, we'll figure it out. Could you ask Elsa and Daisy what why they left Shay Remy? Oh, I'm sure. Okay. See, Daisy's part of the teen girl squad. Team Girl Squad! So she's gonna be straight up honest with us. So I'm gonna go ahead and ask um, Daisy. Elsa might beat around the bush a little bit, but I can't do it myself. I'm too embarrassed. Oh, sweetie, I'll be the middleman. Don't you worry, baby. All right, oh, look, it's it. this is a whole plaza of my exes plus Mickey. Yep, yep, that's uh, something else going up in here. All right, Daisy, sweetie, where did you go? Yeah, Eric thinks that playing his flute's gonna get me back. I don't think so. Hey, Daisy, are you mad at Pumbaa? Well, don't start off with that. What? Why? Of course not. Pumbaa's one of the sweetest, gentlest villagers here. Why would I be mad at him? Duh. Why would Daisy be mad at my son? She's basically Pumbaa's fairy godmother, you know? He said you left as soon as he came in to Shea Remy today. Um, you can be honest with me. What's up? Aww. Oh, I would never be anything but honest. I know, that's why I love her. That's why she's in the Teen Girl Squad. Teen Girl Squad! That's called journalistic integrity. Yes, Daisy, yes! We love her. To be frank, Poopa and Timo Timon both eat like wild animals. Oh, okay, I mean, that's I'm fair. I'm just living the dream. I know, Olaf, I'm so happy for you. Look at those two babies. Oh my God. This corner, this corner right up in here with Olaf and Poopa too cute. It's, it's too much cuteness. <laughs> we got too much cuteness in that one little corner. Bye, sweetie. Oh, I love Olaf. He's so cute. Um, okay, we can talk to Pumbaa about his eating habits. That's fine. Well, actually, I don't know that he'll be able to improve that, to be fair. Look at how huge his mouth is. 
and he's got that big old snout in the way. I don't I don't know how much better he can do. They've never been in a restaurant oh. before. I guess I hadn't thought of that. Maybe I'll drop by sometime and casually mention a few table manners. Daisy, no worries. We can have, oh, actually, you know what, Daisy? Why don't me and you, we can do like a whole etiquette class and we can help Timon. Oh, look, there's Timon. Speak of the literal devil. We can help them both learn how to be functional members of society. Because Pumbaa, he's, he's, he's a sweetie. He means well. But Timon's just a narcissist. And quite frankly, maybe we can beat the narcissism out of him. Or just beat him. Whichever. Maybe we can teach Pumbaa proper table etiquette by teaching him how to beat Timon with a yeah, fork. <gasps> there we go. Mushu. Oh, no, that's Timon. I'm on to you, Timon. Yeah. Yeah, I see you down there. I see you, you little narcissist. Walk away. But manners aside, the real problem was Pumbaa's aroma. When he first got here, it wasn't noticeable at all. Oh. But after he started eating, something changed. I tell it's the butter. It's the butter. I know it. He just started smelling like, well, let's just say it's a smell that most luxurious perfume couldn't cover up. Oh, that's strange. I wonder what changed. The food. He needs his grubs. You think Remy's feeding him grubs? Maybe I'll go talk to Elsa and see what she thinks. Thanks, Daisy. Goodbye. Thank you, Daisy. She's so honest. We love her. We love an honest queen who tells us the hard truth, but like in a respectful way, you know, in a loving, respectful way. Hello, Kristoff. How are you? How are you, Kristoff? Wonderful. You know what? I haven't even talked to Kristoff in a while. Oh, hey. Kristoff, where's Mirabelle? Can I help you with something, Jamie? Yeah, I'm looking for your girlfriend, Mirabelle. What's wrong, Kristoff? Jamie, you've seen those odd looking sharp plants, right? Cactuses? Cacti? Cac cactus? What's the plural of cactus? Whatever. Or is he talking about palm trees? Either way, what do you need sharp plants for, Kristoff? What, what's Mirabelle's plan? Hmm. I think they're called night thorns. Is she trying to harness the power of the night thorns? We have to keep Jack away from Mirabelle because he understands their power. And especially with Sally coming, she might try to join forces with Jack and Sally. I mean, Sally wouldn't, but Jack could be easily convinced, you know? Um, they're kind of hard to miss, Kristoff. It seems like they're everywhere. Yeah, mm -hmm. what about them? The trolls believe that everything in nature has a purpose. Yeah, Mirabelle wants to harness their powers. Confirmed. Do you think we could make something... <laughs> See? I yeah, I literally never talked to Kristoff. I never talked to Kristoff. Oh my god, Mirabelle's trying to harness their powers. Should we tell him that they're dangerous? No, no, no. Um, we should play cool, right? We should we should pretend like it's nothing. Because like if we aren't worried, maybe he'll think that it's nothing. Um, like what, Kristoff? Oh, I don't know. T Thorny Reeds, actually. Yeah, he's not letting us on to our plan. See, Daisy's Daisy's raging over there. Not at Rapunzel. She's overhearing the conversation. She's trying to get Rapunzel to like join in on our squad or whatever to fight the Illuminati. I'll just leave dealing with the Night Thorns to the magic professionals. Mainly you, Amirabelle. Mm -hmm. So long. Yeah, there's there's nothing to worry about, Kristoff. The Night Thorns don't mean anything. They really don't have too much power. See, Mike, Mike was eavesdropping on the conversation. Yeah, they're gonna go report to Mirabelle. They're plotting. Oh, wait, we need to talk to Elsa. Elsa, hi! Oh, that's Pumbaa. Uh -huh. I love Pumbaa. I love Pumbaa so much! Oh! Okay, Elsa. Oh, wait, no, no. We, we have to... Oh, I didn't want to do it right in front of Pumbaa. Pumbaa, close your ears, sweetie. Elsa, I heard you left Shay Remy this morning when Timon and Pumbaa came in. Um, please tell me what happened. You no. can be honest. I I hate to say it, but Pumbaa's breath is very strong. It's the butter. <laughs> Daisy did mention a smell. I know it's not his fault. I hope you can help him. Huh, maybe it's something he's eating? Mirabelle, I don't think you think that the Nightthorns are... Look at this corner over here. 
Look at this horrible quarter over here. And I'm not talking about Gaston, okay? He's our, see, look. Oh my God, Kristoff is spilling everything to her. She's like, oh my God, night thorns, they're the worst. Meanwhile, Kristoff is like, yeah, Jamie's worried. She's worried. Oh my God. We see this unfolding, right? We see the new lore. This is going in part three. <laughs> Down the line next year or whatever, when we have part three, this is in here. Kristoff and Mirabelle talking about what they're going to do with the night thorns. Mike is right there. Oh my God. She's thrilled. I don't know what he said to her, but she's got a plan. Oh no. Um, I'll go talk to Remy. Oh my God. See, I thought the quest with Pumbaa was going to be drama free. And here we already have Mirabelle and Kristoff evil plotting. Mike's right next door, like waiting to be commanded by Mirabelle on what to do with the Night Thorns. And now we have to go talk to Remy. I hope we can talk again soon. This village is beautiful. Thank you, Elsa. You're so nice. Yeah. Bye, Mike. Bye, Mirabelle. Boy, Kristoff! Oh! So I think we should tell Remy that everybody in the valley, all of their breath is starting to stink. Not just to moan. We don't need to single him out. We don't need to single out my literal child. We're just going to tell him that whatever he's making is disgusting and making everybody's breath stink. Also, can we get a Christmas out for, for Minnie? Please? And Christmas lights for Eve. We can like wrap them around her. Please, just need to read my valley. But more than anything, give us more microphone trees because it's not enough to get all of the information from Remy here. Remy, I'm helping everybody in the valley solve a mystery. Can you tell me what Pumbaa's favorite foods are at your restaurant? I don't think I can bypass this. I'd be happy to. Let's see. Since Timon and Pumbaa got back, Pumbaa's really loved the cheese platter, macaroni and cheese, and cheese cake. It's the butter in all of it. It's not the cheese. Mm -mm. It has nothing. To, cheese doesn't make your breath sting. Actually, it probably does. <laughs> well, okay. The cheese is making his breath stink, but the butter is making him a little gassy. Parsh, so many people in this corner. <laughs> There's so much going on right now. So cheese everything. Oh, well. Yep, pretty much. I think this is the clue I'm looking for. Pumbaa didn't eat any cheese in the jungle, and now he's eating lots. And, um, yeah, the end. I hate to say it, but he has had a bit of an effect on my customers. I don't want to stop him from dining at my place, but I do want to be respectful of everybody's experience. Oh, so what you're telling me is that we give Pumbaa more cheese. Noted. Maybe we can find Pumbaa some cheese-free meals to enjoy. No, we'll just send him to Tiana's place. Um, food without cheese seems mm. pointless. Trust me, there's lots of excellent dishes that don't include cheese. I don't think you're right, Remy. I think we always have to use cheese for now and forever. Oh my God, Mike, shut. Oh, I turned off my mic on accident. Mike, you shut up, not me. <laughs> Trust me, there are lots of excellent dishes that don't include cheese. No, we must include cheese in absolutely everything from this point forward. And I know just what to do. First, we'll cook some onion puffs. Those have some cheese in them, so we can test to see whether it's cheese that's really upsetting Pumbaa's digestion. If we're right, we can make some gingerbread cookies to calm his stomach, and then some roasted asparagus to show him a delicious meal that's totally cheese-free. Why roasted asparagus? Remy. I'm not gonna diss on healthy food, but asparagus? His farts are gonna smell even worse than they do with the cheese and butter, because it's butter, like I said. You know what? Fine, yeah, let's give him the asparagus. <sighs> You've got it, chef. I'm gonna put cheese in everything. Here are the recipes you'll need, good luck. Like I don't already know them. Remy's like, look at how helpful I am giving her all these recipes. We work well as a team. We really don't. Get away from me. Come on, sweetie. Let's go. Let's go cook in my little Christmas kitchen. All right, I put cheese and everything. Bring the test meals to Pumbaa. Here, Pumbaa, sweetie. Eat all of this. I also put butter in it. A little bit of cheese and a little bit of butter. So, um, 
you know. Hey Pumbaa, here are a couple of foods for you to try. Oh, I'm so glad you're here. I was getting real worried and real hungry. Well, you eat up, sweetie, don't you worry. Wait, what does food have to do with my aroma? Oh, honey. We think you have a food intolerance. What's that? I tolerate all kinds of food. In fact, I love it. It means your digestive system doesn't really like certain things. Remy and I think it might be cheese. I think I have a gluten intolerance. Currently, currently going to see a doctor for like additional testing, but I think the reason that I've been sick for a literal year and a half is gluten intolerance. Well, uh, there's other things too, but like whatever. I think I'm finally going to get a diagnosis soon and I'm so thrilled to make that pain go away. Um, but I do think it all started with gluten, which is insane. Um, Remy and I think it might be cheese. Try the onion puffs I gave you. No problem. So delicious. But oof, my tummy doesn't feel so good. Baby, <laughs> I don't want to see Puma sad. I don't want to see Puma sad ever. He's baby. Oh. I, I can't eat cheese, luckily. Um, eating cheese is causing the smell, sweetie. Actually, it's the butter, but whatever. Now try eating those gingerbread cookies I made you. The ginger can help your stomach. Well, they do smell good. Crunch, crunch, crunch. Say, my tummy feels much better now, but... How can I ever go in the restaurant again? You just keep eating the cheese and going in, Pumbaa. I'm going to help with that too. I also spoke to Daisy and Elsa. They had a few thoughts to help you feel more comfortable at Shea Remy. First things first, Pumbaa, I'm gonna get you into a I know, I didn't wanna tell him that. Bubbles? But how would bubbles get you clean? We warthogs use mud baths. Oh, would the water dry out his skin? It keeps you cool, and when it flakes off, you're clean. Gee, I sure could go for a mud bath. Hmm, all right, Pumbaa, I'll make you a mud bath. Thanks, I'm gonna go share some of these cookies with Timon. Good, because I did poison one. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I would never risk that with Pumbaa. Literally never. Do we get to keep it, though? Please? All right, sweetie. Hey, Pumbaa, your mud bath is all ready. You're gonna love it. Gee, thanks. I can't wait to lean back and relax in all that squishy mud. Oh, I'm so happy for you, sweetie. I'm also going to ask a couple of villagers about how we can clean your okay. teeth. Oh, okay. I guess that will help with my breath. Burp. Oh, good boy. Uh, yeah. I'll come find you when I've got what we need. Hey, Minnie. I'm helping Puma put his best tooth forward to eat a che rubby. Do you have anything I could use to help freshen his breath? Oh, Daisy told me about poor Pumbaa. I'll do anything I can to help. Let me think. Well, when I was trapped in the here and there for, oh, I don't know how long. I couldn't brush my teeth at all. I'm not sure I even had teeth, really. Uh-oh, that's not good. But when I got back to the valley, I couldn't get the taste of radishes out of my mouth. That's weird, actually, isn't it? The only thing that got rid of the taste was chewing fresh mint from the Frosted Heights. Mint leaves are a great idea. Thank you, Minnie. How sweet. Oh, thank you, Minnie. You're sweet. Okay, let's let's find the beast. Oh, he's right over here. Oh, look, there's her husband, too. Ew, Kristoff, stop eavesdropping on me. He's like, oh, she's talking to a member of the Teen Girl Squad. It must be important. Beast, are you yelling at a flower? He's probably just mad because Belle's gone. Hey, Beast, I need something to help Pumbaa brush his teeth. You don't have a spare brush around. Of course, I'd be honored to help Pumbaa. He is very kind. Just Aww. The princess, of Comfy. princess of Comfy. Vanellope, get out of here. Oh my god, she's so irritating. Um... Wow, Pumbaa's gonna be the one to change the bees. Not even Belle could do that. Well, obviously, because she's evil, but Pumbaa's not. Pumbaa is top tier Disney character, so obviously he's gonna be the one to change the beast. There is a spare toothbrush in my home. You are welcome to find it for Pumbaa. Is this a trap? I can't believe Thank you. how many new friends this I've made here. 
Well, you're going to have one less friend, Woody, because I'm going to die going into Beast's home because Belle's going to murder me. Am I allowed to say that? Whatever. She is. Um, where's Sully? Don't need to say a word, Jamie. Mike's up on all the village gossip. Yeah, I know. He's been eavesdropping on me like a creep. He tells me you're looking for something to help Pumba clean his teeth. See, this is just proof. This is just proof that he's been spying on us. <sighs> wow, wow, I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to say like this entire video for part three of the lore coming, I don't know. Well, I'll try to do one like once a year or something or whenever the valley or, or whenever the lore just gets too thick, I guess. But um, wow. Wow, I, re I really thought that this was going to be like a tame video, but in reality, uh, the Illuminati is just exposing themselves all over the place. <sighs> yeah, I was hoping you might have some spare toothpaste. Sure do. Gotta warn you though. Monster toothpaste is a little different. This one is praying mint is flavor. Sort of a bug spearmint combo. In all fairness, Pimba would love it. So. You can check around my house for the toothpaste. It's in there somewhere. Okay, yeah, so we, we gotta go to return to the aisle. I really like the folks around here. Hey, Jamie, keep up the great work. Thank you, Sully. Remember when we hated Sully and liked Mike? <laughs> that lasted for <laughs> three minutes. Okay, we gotta go to return to the aisle to go to both Sully and Beast's home because they aren't banished, but the people that they live with are. So... <laughs> Also, when we get the option to have floating islands, we will have Illuminati Island. <laughs> Illuminati Island, but island with an, like the eyeball, like island. <laughs> yes, perfect, I love it. Why is every, is, are we having like a seance here? I mean, I'll do a seance with y'all. Mother Gotha kind of worries me, but actually so does, so does Simba. He's too main character for me, but like I'll do a seance with y'all, that's fine. Oh, look who it is. Probably got one of Timon's recording devices on that microphone, don't you, Mike? Don't you, Mike? Anyway, let's go into the banished part of the desert. Their toothpaste. Here we go. Oh, I never noticed this picture of, um, with Boo up here. That's really cute. Hmm. See, notice how cute and sweet Mike's, not Mike's. Notice how cute and sweet Sully's side is. And then look at Mike's. He's still got like all the horror stuff going. Mike, literally, what is that? What is that, Mike? What is wrong with him? He's demented. Scarers? He's literally demented. Okay, now off to the other section of the banished part of the desert. <laughs> Let's see if Belle's even in here. We're safe for now. I'm like waiting for a jump scare. Okay, run. Get out of there before she appears. So I have these little like alarm clock dogs, whatever they're called. I don't know. I like to think of them as watchdogs. So we have watchdogs outside of the enemy's homes. And then we have these little zappers to keep them from escaping. Even though technically they escape all the time. But you know, I like to pretend. Okay, we got one mint and three mint and Vanellope. Although I'm not gonna let, I, I kind of, I've grown to like Vanellope's house in here. You know, I don't know. I just think it's cute. We got this little like candy section. But like, she has to go on Illuminati Island. There's no choice. So I guess, I guess we'll just figure out something else to do in here because we're gonna be getting all those new star path items. So, all right, we gotta find Pumbaa. Pumbaa, sweetie, baby. Where is my son? Aw, he's next to Elsa. Is Elsa taking care of you, sweetie? He's so cute. Yeah, come to your mommy, sweetie. We got you some stuff to make your breath smell nice. And there's it's partly bug flavored, so you'll be thrilled. Oh, 
Oh boy. oh boy, Jamie, first that great mud bath and now these things? I'm gonna have the freshest breath in the valley. I feel like a new warthog. Oh, I'm so happy for you, baby. I'm happy for you. I'm happy for me too. Thanks for the help, Jamie. And it's just in time for me to meet Timon at Shea Remy. Yeah, yeah. Shea Remy. Listen, Pooh, Tiana's place. Give it a shot. It's phenomenal. 10 out of 10. I, I'm a little nervous to go in there alone. An account of what happened last time. Oh, okay. Well, we can go in there just to prove everybody that you're amazing. And then we can start eating at Tiana's place. Will you walk with me? <laughs> Papa, I'll walk with you anywhere. This is my son. <laughs> I love him. Boomba baby, yes, of course. Ew, Timon's in here. Gross. Oh, Scar's in here. Let's do this again soon. Okay, baby, listen to Timon and Pumba. Oh, we stopped hanging out, I guess. Pumba, buddy, you look great. And smell great. Mm-hmm. Thanks, Timon. And look, no one's leaving. I know it's packed. You know, I was thinking, after the main course, what if we got a cheesecake to go? There's a cake eaten spot on the beach with our names on it. Even if it makes me smell, even then, but it all, he also said it upset his stomach. Aw, oh, thanks, Timon. <sighs> See, I was kidding before. I would never feed Pumbaa cheese or butter, knowing that it intentionally upset his stomach. Timon is giving it to him anyway. Wait, really? I think Timon's worse than Mirabelle because like Mirabelle yeah. doesn't really have any friends. Pumbaa's supposed to be Timon's friend and look what he does to him. Pumbaa, <laughs> I don't know what to do because he's never gonna leave Timon. We just have to give him a safe place when he's with us, you know? I did it, I did yep, it! Yep. I got to eat in the restaurant. Gee, I feel great. Yeah, let's start going to um, Tiana's place because I'm sure she can make beignets without any like butter or anything. So she'll be more sensitive to your intolerances. Bet. <laughs> and I don't even have to give up cheesecake. I'll just eat it outside. I mean, if that makes you happy, Timon, not Timon. I mean, if that makes you happy, Pumbaa, sure. But in reality, I think Timon's just trying to keep you all to himself. Um, what about your tummy ache? Well, maybe I'll just have it sometimes as a special treat. Yeah, that sounds good, Pumbaa. Thanks, Jamie. I couldn't have done it without you. I'm trying to smell every flower in the valley. It's tough work, but somebody's got to do it. That is really tough work. Sweetie, you keep at it. You keep going, Pumbaa. Fine arts for warthogs. <gasps> Are we going to teach Pumbaa about fine art? I love fine art. Jamie, am I glad to see you. I want a hobby. Do you think you could help me? Of course, sweetie. A hobby could actually be anything. Is there something you're interested in specifically? Uh, maybe flower picking? Uh. Well, I do love smelling flowers, but I don't want to pick... <sighs> he respects nature. <laughs> we wait. Me and Jafar raised him right. <gasps> My baby, he's so good. He's, he's so pure of heart. Literally, him and Wally are the most innocent little things in the entire world. Sure, we just need to find the right art. Say, have you ever thought about pottery, making stuff out of clay? Mm. I don't know what that is, but it sounds fun. Do you think Timon could... So innocent that he doesn't see that Timon is a literal narcissist. Narcissist, of course Timon just like has his fingernails into this sweet little baby because he just wants somebody that he can manipulate, right? And Timon, not Timon, and Pumbaa being so sweet and innocent and angelic, he just doesn't know. He just doesn't know. Sweetie, yeah, we'll have Timon join us, but quite frankly, I, I don't support this friendship. I really don't. Um, sure, let's make it a pottery class. Honestly, it'll help us keep an eye on him anyway. Oh boy, I can't wait to try something new. All right, Pumbaa, you go talk to Timon. I'll see about getting a pottery class set up. Punzel knows a lot about pottery. I'll talk to her to see what we need. Wait, huh? Rapunzel? 
But she's an Eternity Isle exclusive. If you don't have Eternity Isle, what does this quest look like? If you don't have Eternity Isle, do you get this quest? Do you just like do it with someone else? Because I really thought that all of the characters from Eternity Isle, like we'd be done with them. So I'm thrilled to know that that's not the case. I really need to talk to you. Oh, Jamie, Poopa was just telling me you're helping him put on a pottery class. That's uh. so exciting. Yeah, I was hoping you could tell me what we might need to get started. I've never hosted a pottery class before. <laughs> Neither have I, unless you count when I tried to teach Pascal to make itty bitty teacups, but I have an idea. Well, she did host that art class. You know, the one that Mirabelle showed up to? Aw, Eve's here, Simba's here. Of course you're here, Mirabelle. Of course Mirabelle's here. Seemingly, even though Eve was there next to Mirabelle, nobody actually got blasted. So like, quite frankly, I consider that successful. <sighs> You'll definitely need some pottery wheels, clay, <laughs> and some flowers to make beautiful glazes. I've actually never like made pottery on like one of the little wheels before. Sounds simple enough. I'll craft some pottery wheels and collect the supplies we need. And I'll go find Pumbaa. We can talk about throwing on the wheel versus hand building. Hi, honey. How are you? Gee, this stuff sure is interesting. I can't wait to start hobbying. Rapunzel told me all about the neat things you can make with clay. We're gonna set up everything in Pride Rock so we can start. Could you invite Simba and Nala while we get the tables ready? Yeah, we're gonna need Nala if Timon's gonna come. Sure, I'll invite them. Thanks, pal. Uh, Could you also stupid. talk to Timon? Timon is making my baby cry. Why did he say no? I asked him, but he said no. I think he's nervous about trying something he might not be good at right away. Okay, this fishing noise. <laughs> Who is fishing? Goofy, I love you, but oh my god. Um, no, see, this is another strategy that narcissists use. Oh, you know what? We can't say this around Mirabelle. Um, this is a strategy that narcissists use. They'll, like, make plans with you and then, like, cancel. Or, like, they'll, like, I don't know. They'll, like, hype you up one day. And then, like, hype it down the next day. Like, make it a big deal one day. Make it a big deal one day, and then the next day it's, like, not a big deal. Just to kind of keep you on that roller coaster of up and down, you know? So he's really just messing with Pumbaa. That's all it is. It's not that he doesn't want to do it. It's just that he's trying to mess with Pumbaa. Oh, hey there. Hey, Nala. Pumbaa is having a pottery class. Want to join in? I have to say, I'm intrigued. Mm. And of course, I'm happy to be there for Puma. See, she supports Pumba. Goodbye. Uh, Simba. Hey, hey. Pumba's like the you. new Hugh. You know how we all threw, well, not we all, but you know how like in the movie they threw like this huge celebration for the birth of Simba? I feel like we should do that, but just to celebrate Pumba. Like everybody joins in and like I hold up Pumba over Pride Rock and everybody just like claps and stuff, you know? <laughs> Hey Simba, Poop is having a pottery class and you're invited. <laughs> pottery class? Huh. Well, I'll do anything for Poomba. See you there. Aw, that was nice of you, Simba. So, uh, meeting oh god, now we have the gives me hope. <laughs> Say no, like you give me hope. Which I'm gonna need, because I have to talk to Timon now. What is Mirabelle doing? Mirabelle, get away from my son! Oh, yeah, that's right. You walk away, Mirabelle. Poomba, are you okay, sweetie? Sweetie. Don't talk to Mirabelle, okay? Don't talk to her, she's evil. She will put you in a candy van so quick. See, our husband, my husband is keeping an eye on Timon for me because he's so wonderful. I could not ask for a better husband. We're such a happy family, me, Jafar, and Pumbaa. Name a more beautiful looking family <laughs> than me, Jafar, and Pumbaa. I'll wait. <laughs> Hi, honey, how are you? How are you doing today, my love? Jamie, the pleasure is all mine. <laughs> no, honey, the pleasure is mine. Um, 
What's the matter, honey? Are you okay? That flying object Eve followed me from my home to the castle and back again. It's not personal, Jafar, sweetie. Um, she's one of the protectors, so she's really just keeping an eye, keeping an eye on the place. Everyone here is so suspicious. I get tiresome of being watched all the time. It's not personal, honey. That's just, that's her job. Take it as a compliment. A compliment. I am watched because you know I am supremely skilled and dangerous. Yeah. That's why I love you. Yeah. When viewed in that light, it is somewhat flattering. I know. I love you no, so please. much. Okay. Bye, baby. <laughs> Timo, get over here. What's up? Before you start, the answer is no. I'm not doing Pumbaa's pottery thing. Then the only other option is death. So, goodbye, Timo. Goodbye. Forever. He was right. You're scared to try new things. I beg your pardon. I am scared of no such thing. So you're not a perfectionist? You're a slacker? Pfft. Me? A perfectionist? That's the most ridiculous thing I've ever heard. And I'll prove it in Poopa's Pottery's class. See, we just manipulated the narcissist. So long. We got him. We got him. Go inside Pride Rock to start Pumbaa's pottery class. Bye, honey. Have a good day. I'll see you later. Can I get a little no, Remy, bye. Muriel, get away from me. Oh my God, she's so creepy. See, she's gonna wait outside, listening into the pottery class. Oh my God, they are literally on the prowl. The Illuminati is on the prowl. <sighs> Talk to Pumba to begin the class. Oh boy, Jamie, you're here too. Of course I'd be here to support you. I wouldn't miss it. Um. I want to see what you make. Me? Well, I was thinking about trying the wheel, but that might be too hard for my first try. Well, you can start off easy with your hands. That's okay. I gotta think some more. Why don't you start creating, Pooba? I'll check on how everyone else is doing. So long, kid. All right, we'll save Timon for last. Nala, Hi. how are you, sweetie? Being creative is harder than I thought. I'm not sure what I want to make. Just make literally anything, Nala. Um, yeah. Play with the clay. Ideas will come. Okay. I can try this. Yeah, just just get in there. Oh, oh, how cute. There, it's an impression of my paw. It's simple, but I'm proud of it, girl. We're going to hang it up right outside of Mirabelle's house so she can remember who's boss. Thank you, Jamie. Goodbye. Look at Simba. Simba, can you learn to breathe with your Bye. mouth closed? Hey, so Timon seems to be doing pretty well with his paws, but mine are too big to make stuff with. If Timon is insanely good at this, I'm gonna lose my mind. Sometimes artists hold brushes in their mouths. Yeah, that's a good idea. He also did a paw print. Is it Simba, you did that for Rapunzel's art class, and I told you before, like, it really is that simple, but you can't just keep doing it. Well, here you go. The clay stuff is pretty neat. Thanks for the advice, Jamie. See, he found what works. He's just going to keep going. Timon, it's not going to work as well with you because you're not cute. Hey, pal, what's cooking? How's it going, Timon? I don't want to brag, but I think I've elevated the art of pottery to new heights. Yeah, you would think that. Ta-da! <laughs> oh, you stupid narcissist. You stupid stupid narcissist. It's artistic and practical. I invented a whole new thing. The bug picker, picker upper sipper thing. It looks like a cup. Cups exist. Don't be ridiculous. This is my new clay invention. It's one of a kind. See how well it sells to moan. Good luck with that. So I will not be investing in your stocks. Are you okay, Pumba? You haven't done anything with your clay yet. Uh -huh. Oh, I great. I've been thinking this whole time about what I want to do, and now I know. <gasps> Aw, that's so cute, Pumba. See, it's in honor of my favorite food in the world, the humble grub. This is a masterpiece. Yep, yep, yep. Oh, really? Thanks, Jamie. And you know what? I really like everyone's clay creations. I wish I could show them to the whole valley. Hey, maybe we can. What if we put on an art show? Ooh, that's fun. Everyone can see your work. Really? We can do that? But 
Uh, how do I make an art show? We'll talk to Rapunzel again. Let's get started right away. I'll go to Mr. McDuck to see if he has any furniture we can use as displays. Thanks for stopping by! Oh, wait, is this where we get the really pretty pedestals? <gasps> oh, yeah, I like those. Those are nice. Um, I need some mm. supplies for an art show. But I do love a day at the museum, especially when I'm the one who donated all the pieces in the exhibition. Hee <laughs> hee! Koomba and some friends made some pottery pieces, and we need something to display them on. <laughs> Well, Jamie, you're in luck. It just so happens that I need supplies for a little project of my uh -huh. own. I've got some very nice display pillars, which are just the thing for you, and I'll trade them for some gemstones and flowers from around the valley. Okay, I'll collect what we need to make the trade. All right, here's Scrooge Luigi. Take all the things. Would you look at these baggy gems and blooms? They'll be perfect for me project. Um... What is this project you're talking about? Well, if you must know, Minnie Daisy and I have been exploring the fine art of flower arranging. <gasps> Ooh, I love that, Scrooge. It's almost as soothing as counting the money in me bunny bin. I love that for you. Now, here are the display pillars as promised. I'm looking forward to the show. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we're gonna put those everywhere. Are you kidding me? Hey, Pumbaa, I got the display pillars for the art show. You did? Thanks. Oh, and everything just finished uh -huh. drying. Could you put the pottery on the pillars, Jamie? Even my agile snout hasn't got the hang of furniture yet. Meeting someone no like problem, Pumbaa. I can handle it. Oh, boy. My first ever art show. Aw, so cute. Oh. We'll put that in the bag. <laughs> put it right next to um, Pumbaa's. That way it looks extra poopy. Oh, look at our art pieces up there. They're so pretty. I mean, most of them are, Pumbaa. I never thought I could do anything like this. Oh, I think I'm gonna cry. Baby, don't cry. <laughs> you have a future in art, sweetie. You really think so? Gee, you're swell, Jamie. Of course, my baby's gonna uh -huh. be an artist. I gotta go get Timon and the others. They're gonna be so excited to see this. Yep, yep, yep. But before I do, I want you to have a pottery wheel. You could set up your own pottery studio. Thanks, Jamie. I couldn't have hobbied without you. Thanks, Pumbaa. You're so sweet. So long, kid. Oh, is that it? Well, that was simple. <laughs> yeah, literally look at this. Timon thinks that looks good. Are you kidding me? <laughs> anyway, I think I'm going to end the video here. If you guys enjoyed it, feel free to give it a thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel for more Disney Dreamer Valley content. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!